Hi, this is KG, and um, today I would like to introduce to you the new indicators that um, I, I get from public library actually, and I incorporate into Auto SNR. SNR. So this indicator is called Volume Point of Control or VPOC. So it's already in your indicators. Basically, what you to do is go to Invite Only Scripts. Um, just click Auto SNR. Okay, and um, it has three features over here. There's one is KG SNR. Basically, this is based on Fibonacci. There's a tsunami SNR. Basically, is to um, detect the bottom when the the the, the, the stock price is um, crashing. And there's a show VPOC. This is volume point of control. So let me go through again. Um, but today I'm not going to talk about tsunami SNR. So I'm going to demonstrate how to use this uh, voice uh, volume point of control. Okay. So you can start with um, KG SNR. So basically this is based on um, Fibonacci, and it look at all. Um, the whole chart from day one until today so what you need to do is you just draw the line based on the guidance given by S uh, KG SNR so you just draw that Okay, basically this is you can refer to previous videos which is uh, already there and I'm just demonstrate one more time so I try to hide okay now I have all the lines and I just this one probably is not important because I don't see there's a point over here so I can just delete it I take this as a valid support this one also is a valid one and adjust a little bit and here okay and here here okay this looks good okay so this is you already familiar with okay i already shared this a uh, few times ago in the previous videos then next is you can look at volume point of control so volume point of control basically is is a volume is a volume we have a volume based on a time okay there's a um, x-axis over here is based on time and then this volume is based on price okay the concept is pretty simple the volume this part this volume is basically to tell you okay which or when when there's a spike or when is a, we have a high volume so we know that this time um, I use this rectangle okay this volume see the volume um, this volume is a heavy volume okay this is the time that big players is pushing Okay, there's a start buying in. This one as well. And here there's another one. Okay. Here's this another one. Here's another one. Here's another one. And here's another one. Okay. So now you put the volume at the horizontal um horizontal. Okay, because it's look at the price so these are the level that the buyer is buying in okay this one this one also yellow is pre is is to highlight the significant level the level that is is, is very busy um, and this area okay so we know that when around um, beginning of the december you see the beginning of december the big player is starting to push and at what price around 
230 to 240. So this is a very important region. So since the price is already above this region, so this is a strong support area. Okay, this is a strong support area. Okay, so we expect that if the price come down, we expect that bull is going to fight very hard to protect this region. So I expect that it's going to go up because this is still uptrend. If in case bull is defeated by the bear, the next level of uh, um, a war zone is basically this area. Okay, so it's either it's going up or it's going down. And this area is going to be another level that we are interested in to buy. Okay, because it's kind of a confluence with um, this line, this line, okay, the line that we just drawn a moment ago, and then confluence with a volume point of control. Okay, so if break is going to come back down um, to this level, but this level seems like pretty weak. Okay, it's pretty weak, it might drop back down to this level. Okay, it's pretty simple. The concept is pretty simple. Um, volume point of control is basically to identify which area is um, a strong interest area, right? This area is a very strong interest area of a big player. And we can see that there's another area over here is about $2. Here is $1, is $2 and another area is here about 230 okay 230 to 240 all right and now the price is above the yellow point of control and we expect that this level is going to be a support okay it's very easy and uh, the, the concept is makes sense um, you can use this on top of uh, whatever support and resistance indicator that we have okay um hope that you enjoy these indicators and uh, if you have any uh, question you can drop me a message All right thanks